Yes, and welcome back to Hickey Park. It's, it's uh, the end of the first quarter. We're about to start the second. They've had the huddles, Jack, and um, certainly uh, nervous times for the Clowns and Footy Club. They trail by 16 points, just with the one behind. But there were signs there at times in that quarter and in the heat that their running game could get going. They had the weather of the storm. There's probably an even Stephen bet in that regard, but they're going to have to find something uh, this quarter and get their running game going, you'd think. Yeah, certainly. And I think Kimberley, uh, Timothy Kimberley on the wing was uh, one of those players who was able to transition the ball from, uh, from back forward with his run and carry. So they'll be looking forward to that. The forward pressure, I thought, was pretty good as well, but uh, a few veterans in their defence. Take it away, Danny. So the two 17s again. Uh, yellow, of course, is the Caloundra team, and the blue is the... Uh, is the blue team, not as it shows on the scoreboard on the live stream, folks. If you're tuning in on live stream this afternoon, we've just been, uh, it's just been uh, uh, noted to us that on your, on your vision, the team in yellow is Springwood and the team in blue is Caloundra, but the actual jumper colours are opposite. So the yellow team out there is Caloundra and the blue team is Springwood, in case you weren't quite sure. Anyway, this is Springwood with the ball on the boundary wing here, on the commentary wing, kicks it forward. Bursting through there is, uh, looks like spring of uh, Caloundra. Brad Kimberley, he's wrapped up beautifully by Keneally. In fact, it's a free kick, the umpire says, for that tackle. Didn't have much time there, young Brad Kimberley. But uh, Keneally with the football and the hairdo to go with it this afternoon for the grand final, of course. Jai's had the, uh, the great little trim as he kicks it forward. Nice 50 metre looking kick to half forward. Hits Howes on the back of his head as he sort of half ducked, half uh, hit his head from the sun and Caloundra Young Naninga gets his head and shoulders over the football as he so often does in football uh, in the Div 1 comp. It's a poor kick across, in right into the danger spot there and McGrory takes a mark some 50 out. Probably not the start Caloundra was looking for, Jack, but nevertheless um, it is uh, what's unfolded and Springwood will have a shot at goal through the agency McGrory from some 55 out. Kicks it long and hard to the goal square. Flying high there was Bain. Couldn't take it. Comes down to Caloundra. Umpire doesn't do anything. I thought he'd blown the whistle. It's wrestled out here further. Frizz goes for the football, keeps it alive and in play. There's plenty of yellow jumpers for the Caloundra team, but the jump boy says, give it to me. We'll, bound, uh, we'll ball it up, Jack, in the deep forward pocket for Springwood. They've been good, the forwards today for Springwood. They've actually read the play and had a couple of times they've uh, been able to intercept the ball deep inside their forward line. Umpire throws it up. Up they go. It's a good tap out the back there this time by Jacobson. Anyone can get the ball. Keneally tries to get a quick handball away. Uh, again, the game just darting in there. There's a bit of a congestion as the, the players form. Spills out the back. Here you go. They've got numbers quickly. Page overruns the ball. He just leaves it for his teammate to try and get a good solid play there. There by um, Scalandra trying to get the ball on. He's going to get the ball. Handball up. Another handball over the top and they'll be out. But it's going to out. Comes flying through. Gets tackled hard. And a good play as he butters up and he's going to clean the ball up at centre half back. He still can't get hold of the ball. He's looking, still, to, he's <laughs> looking to get double, triple touches himself there, Jack, as he handballed it 17 times to himself. But he ended up with the kick and uh, comes across there and it's back in the hands of Springwood. There's a bit of fumbling, Jack, out there early for both teams in, in this quarter. They know the stakes are high as uh, it's driven inside 50. Beautiful looking kick. Frizz gets a little nudge in the back. Umpire let it go, though. Beautiful hands here. Through to Keeble. He's got more pace than you reckon, but he's well tackled here. But it's bounced over the top. Surely not Jack Barry. It's a goal from Jake Keeble as he was half flung to the ground. I'm pretty sure it was Keeble, the number 11 in the Navy jumper for Springwood Pumas this afternoon. And we'll... Uh, you reckon, Jack, we'll give it to Keeble, the number will. 11? I think it's... Uh, if I was a betting man... I reckon it was him as he was flung to the ground, got his boot to the ball, and it fortuitously bounced over probably Nathan uh, Spring by the looks of things. And last thing that Caloundra needed was a Springwood fortunate goal. But that's what's happened. And they go to 3-5-23, leading Caloundra just a solitary behind. And it's 3 minutes 30 into the, uh, into the second quarter at Hickey Park this afternoon. As uh, the two Ruckman go again, Page v... Jacobson. Jacobson can't quite grab it. Now it's Keneally with a big kick for Springwood into their forward 50. Bounces down. Howes, who was in such good form a few weeks ago in the second semi against Maine, kicking four goals. He uh, is out bustled for it on this occasion now. He's still fighting for it. Calandra in there going hard too as it comes through there. Howes butters up inside 50. Just a quick chip kick. Gets it to his teammate who couldn't quite clasp it and it's wrapped up beautifully by 
the composed Zufa, who unfortunately goes to Page. Springwood get it again, and they're going back inside 50, Jack. Long kick up a four. They're going to pack set themselves. No one can take the mark. A good punch away. Here's a chance now for uh, Calandra just to settle in deep in defence, but they're going to go back to where all the traffic is. A big left foot kick out. Alert in front of the old scoreboard. Can he take a mark? And he does. But he quickly plays on. Calandra trying to get catch him off guard. The ball bouncing forward. It's going to bounce inside forward 50. Numbers look like it's... it's, it's uh, Look, numbers look like they're going to get there, but the ball's going to spill out of bounds as I get tongue-tied there, Danny, and the ball goes out of bounds. 3-5-23, Springwood leading one behind, four-and-a-half-minute mark, second term. Well, fair to say, Jack, you're no different to any <laughs> of the players and any of us out, out here in the commentary box today. It's 30 degrees out. It's, a, it's probably the warmest day we've had since February this year and the COVID uh, dramas that have been going on around us and everything else. It's a, it's a nice, hot, contested day. Beautiful day for football at Hickey Park the home of the Gorillas, Wilston Grange, uh, as the neutral ground today. And uh, the ball will come up here. Uh, well, in fact, I've just had, uh, just had, there's a bit of advice come through, uh, Jack, that it's actually, it's in fact not the Hickey Oval, what is it? The Eye Energy Oval. The Eye Energy Oval. I think so, yeah. Okay, the new major sponsor at, uh, at the Wilston Grange ground. So there you go, folks. But it, look, traditionally, it's a bit like Cadinia Park for the Cats, yep. um, which is now GMHBA Stadium. Well, this used to be the Hickey. So for all those locals, it is the Hickey Oval traditionally, but it's the Eye Energy Oval this afternoon. Oh, we know footy clubs need their sponsors. Up by throws the ball in. Up they go. Good tap out the front there by Calandra, swooping on the ball, looking for a free kick. No one's paid. Now it's a right foot kick out of the pack, bouncing forward. They'll, both teams will need to go. Here's a chance to settle. Tries to take him on. Gets onto the left foot. It's a nice kick away there by Zufa. And it's gone high, high, high. And handsome umpire will pay the mark. Play on the call. A good solid tackle there. And the umpire says, I'll have it, thank you. Ball up inside forward 50. So, Danny, they probably need to get the next one, wouldn't they? I don't know if that's an understatement. Oh, but... yeah. It, it's early in the game, Jack. But uh, grand finals are, are something that very hard to get back into if, you, if you're out of them too early. So they do need to get some sort of score on the board. But it, it is only a three-goal game at the moment. So uh, they just need to continue to put pressure on. But Springwood look like they're up for the challenge as Keneally, who's had a reasonable afternoon uh, last quarter and going all right this quarter, comes out to Jed King. Haven't caught a lot of him so far, but he kicks it. It's a beautiful kick. Uh, they're about 70 out. Goes for a kick inside 50, looking for free, the big freezer. He wraps it up one-handed as he... Oh, and the blue boots, if you don't mind, the big freeze. As he goes with the left foot, looking for his teammate, Hayden Howes. Shows a clean set of heels, goes oh. wide oh, it's He's on all by himself here is the Springwood Puma over there, 25 metres out. And I'm not quite sure who it is. Is that... That's not Mark Thompson, who's snuck down from the back line, is it? We'll pick him up in a moment, folks. But in, nevertheless... Uh, great work there, Freezer on the left foot, number nine in the blue boots for Springwood. Found his uh, compatriot there in Howes and a couple of older blokes on the field. Howes, of course, about 35 and Freezer hitting the 30 mark. And now it looks like, as I said, we'll find out who it is as he shoots for goal. 25, he's put it through, whoever that mystery Puma man is. And we'll get him to turn around in a minute, Jack, as you train the binoculars on him. But uh, from um, if I was a betting man, I, I had yep. picked Thompson. I think you're right. We're looking man. for number one, and if it is uh, Mark Thompson, he's shuffling his way back to the back line. Yeah, yeah, it may well be Mark Thompson, who's come down from half back to kick the fourth goal for Springwood, four five twenty nine to one behind Calandra. It was Mark Thompson. It turns out with the freshly shaved hairdo, and Mark Thompson, the captain of uh, the Springwood back-to-back pre -back premiership teams in fourteen. 2014 and 15 against the Caloundra Kings, uh, sorry, the, the Cooparoo Kings back then, uh, but a great player in this competition. Fantastic work from him finding self free. So I get another clearance here. Puma's inside 50. Gus Subaru gets it going forward, and it's a great mark there, a diving mark. I reckon that's Jordan Bain for Springwood, and he's taken it about the same spot as Mark Thompson just shot from, maybe a bit more acute, about 30 metres out from goal. And uh, the floodgates, if there is such a thing, Gat, Jack, at uh, Energy Oval this afternoon, might have just opened in his last couple of minutes. Eight minutes into the second quarter and Springwood lining up for their third goal of the quarter through the agency of Jordan Bain. I'll let you call it in, Jack. Bain coming. There's a lovely clearance there by O'Shaw. And Bain coming in to try and put his third in for the day. 
a nice drop point kick. The umpire doesn't move from there. Look, I think it's home and home and handsome, and that's his third, and he's provided a real handful up there. So a great centre clearance there by the young bloke, young lad from Cairns in Angus O'Shaw. And then a beautiful kick forward, and Bain on the lead takes a nice mark and kicks his third. So to, to put Angus number 42 for Springwood in the spotlight, how would you pronounce that surname, Jack? Because that was one of my jobs before today to just get the. Well, it says O'Shaw. O'Shaw. O'Shaw grew. I think I'd call him Angus Not Oshaw. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> Not sure. That'll go. We'll run with that. My apologies, Angus. In uh, future years, it should you ever happen to watch this live stream replay. But uh, let's go with Gus. Number 42 helped set that goal up beautifully uh, in the second quarter at Hickey slash I Energy Park. It's getting danger signs here for Caloundra. They need a goal as Taylor in the ruck goes up. They lose it and, and Gus O'Shaw misses it, Rover runs the football. Tim Kimberley in there, as is, uh, as is the number 14 in Daniel Hunt, the fresh in from last week. Uh, it was there. Chris Taylor out of the ruck for Caloundra goes forward in the direction of Jimmy Carroll. He just overruns it, and Caloundra gets a free kick here in the back, the umpire says. And I'll give it to you, young fella. That looks like Jaden Turner. Spud Turner kicks it forward, looking for his teammate, flicks over the back nicely. Can't quite grab it. Springwood's defence holding firm once again here as they flick it forward. Josh Brown running rings around his Caloundra boys. Uh, although it's a poor handball, drops it, then perhaps infringes and does infringe his Caloundra. Counterpart there, and uh, again, Jack, we're guessing, we're playing one of these guessing games from 127 metres away from the commentary box. I think it might be number three in Daniel Kelly. You can tell, yeah, the ponytailed Daniel Kelly for Caloundra, the young fella um, who has been part of this club for many years and grown through it, been one of the homegrown locals, and he's uh, back playing footy this year. He's going to have a shot. A much-needed goal, 30 metres out, on an acute angle. He goes through. He leans back on it just a fraction, and it's across the face of goals for the one behind. Two behinds, Caloundra, trailing Springwood, 5-5-35. Looking to get that first one on the board. They'll be ruining the chances they've missed. Member side wing, Springwood, bring it out. Pack set themselves. A good punch from behind. Swooping on the ball, there's King. He gets a big tackle there by Watson as he gets tackled over the shoulder. The umpire says, I'll have the ball. So the skipper trying to lift his... Trying to lift his team. Can they get their first on the board? Rucks to go at it. Up they go. It's a good tap out the back. They've got a chance here now. There's a good kick away there by Flanders, but he's kicked it high, wide, and out of, unfortunately it's gone out of bounds on the full. And this will be a chance now for uh, Thompson to no. No, it'll be sort of a bit further down the ground. It'll be a chance for um, Springwood to bring the ball back into play. The left footer drives it down in front of the member stand. The crack in front of the big crowd today. No one can take a mark. Springwood just get anything they can to try and knock that ball forward. And it's a good little mark there taken by Keeble. Keeble looking to go inboard. Drives a kick into the forward line. Looking for Frizz. Up they go. Frizz can't get gets the front spot. This ball spills, spills free. There's a chance for Ryan to sweep on the ball. Solid tackle there by Calandra in uh, Zufa. And the bumpire will throw it up. So it looks like they're throwing Zufa behind the ball, Danny. Yeah, well, Daniel Zufa, probably the most experienced player on the ground. And, you know... Uh yeah, they need to just shore things up, keep themselves in the game for a little bit and hopefully give some experience, voice composure to his teammates as it goes forward again. Just a, just a scrappy kick. Sponic, who's been pretty good all day across and half back, uh, takes the footy, drives it long inside 50 now, looking for Bain again, uh, who's been pretty good. Isaac Richardson, great spoil from him across the boundary line. A great 30 metre spoil too. And... Uh, It'll just compose things for everyone across the uh, 40 metre mark out from Springwood Goals. Again, folks, if you've just tuned in or you've been tuning in and you're looking at the yellow jerseys versus the navy, they are opposite to what the screen says. So the yellow Springwood is actually, they're playing in the navy and the blue Caloundra, they're actually the one team in the gold. So I don't know what happened there. One of those country footy things that happen from time to time. As it gets for, dropped forward, Thompson drove it inside 50. No one can take it. It's uh, contested hotly. A couple of players here. Ron Hooper on the left foot has a little blatant spling, swing at it and comes across the face just for the one behind. 5-6 Springwood lead Caloundra just to two behinds. We're 13 minutes in the second quarter at Hickey Park this afternoon and Caloundra really need to get a wriggle on as uh, we have been calling these last five or ten minutes. It goes forward. Isaac Richardson out of the commentary wing here looking for his teammate there in... Uh, uh, Max Jacobson, great grab from him. The young local Jacobson kicks on the left to no one in particular there. 
Uh, overrun there, Josh Hampson. Naninga can't get it. Thompson in there, the composed hands of Thompson. He couldn't, couldn't quite take it away. As a uh, butter, it's an important victory here. If Jacobson can continue with it, he gets unbundled too. And it's a free kick against him. Out by says, play on as Josh Brown gets yet another kick out of defence. Fridge and Nathan Spring, what a match up those two. It is for the two big bulls of the, t of the, uh, of the game in Div 1. Josh Shininga on the right foot to no one again. And Spring would butter up beautifully. Uh, and I think this might be uh, Dan Hunt with the football here. Uh, on the left boot, again, um, kicks it long, looking for Frizz, can't take it. Jacobson, coming into the game now, the, the young Ruckman for Cleandra. On to Allman, the experienced Allman, ex-Redlands. He goes further across now, uh, looking for his teammate, Nathan Davis, who's also new into the team this year. Uh, just a youngster, kicked the ball across, looking for the big switch, and they need to use their run, does the Cleandra team, as Jimmy Carroll runs out, the number 15. Late recruit gets a fall on the wing. They need something from someone, Jack, across this uh, little period of time as it goes forward inside 50. Here they go. Here's a chance. They need to talk it up. Need a clean grab, and they get one there from the young man in the yellow jumper. He has a shot across the face of goals. That's going to be no good, but they have got the numbers here again through the agency of Captain Jacob Watson. Kicks it forward, and Dan Kelly takes the mark, Jack. 30 metres out from goal, Caloundra. Fantastic work from the Pumas. Well, that's a great play, a nice build up there, and, and I like what you said there in regards to Jagers and sort of lifted uh, the big fella, and, um, and then just a skipper there, just a nice composure there by Watson, and then a nice kick to Kelly. So Kelly will line up for their first of the day, and uh, Danny, I suppose you've got to say they've, they've beaten, Calandra's beaten them twice this year, so if they can get the first on the board, they can get a bit of momentum before they get into half time, all important. No doubt about it, Jack. They uh, just need, You need to keep within four or five goals of any game of footy, especially a grand finals. Kelly shoots. Flicky Brews behind him. On this occasion, his dead-eye dick is Dan Kelly and uh, a magnificent kick and a much-needed, you'd say, a much-needed goal to the Caloundra Panthers. The team in the yellow strip, but the blue strip on the scoreboard on your screen, live stream, and the, and the uh, Caloundra team, one goal, two, eight, now trail Springwood Pumas, 5-6-36. It's a 28-point ball game, Jack, and, and quite rightly, as you say, we're 16 into the second quarter. Grand finals have been won and lost in this period, no doubt about it, but they just need to be within striking distance at half-time because we've seen plenty of half-time turnarounds in grand finals too, Jack, over the years. Yep, we'll go back into the middle of the ground and... Uh... You know, maybe it's, maybe it's the young legs that can get them over the line later on. Up they go. It's a nice tap out, but again, sharked away there by um, a high, high tackle and be a free kick in the middle of the ground there to, um, I haven't quite got his number. Proudy. Proud. Nick oh, Proud. it's Proud. No, Nick, Nick Proud. Proud. Proud kicks the ball out wide. Last year's best and fairest winner, Proud. Kicks the ball down the line. Looking for its teammate, but he's got too much on it. The ball rolled out of bounds. As I said earlier in the year, Danny, uh, Calandra's beaten uh, Springwood twice uh, in round two and round eight. So the confidence is theirs. I think they could do it, but they're giving themselves a bit of a head start. Yeah, there have been three close tussles all year. Not much more than a goal or two separated both teams. And, and this time of year, they're both full strength. Just one or two players out injured. They've had a good run through September. Um, but certainly Springwood with maybe arguably a bit more experience. So they need to stay in the game early as much as they can. As it goes inside 50, umpire hasn't paid the mark. Keebel, Jakey Keebel, the young gun from uh, and the unsung hero of Springwood this year. Certainly he, he's been a great young player and uh, overlooked in the, uh, in the state team uh, but was right in the mix for the squad this year and has had a great season. As it goes out to uh, back out and it's wrapped up again by Spring. We've been very good defensively. Drive inside 50, looking there for that man in Keeble. Ran Hooper, magnificent front and centre. Gets a handball out as he bulldozed his way through there to Keneally. And Keneally's shot goes across the face. It's just the behind. And, uh, and fortuitously, again, for Caloundra, that was a nice, nice that they missed that if they're to stay alive in this game. As uh, Richardson from full back, plays on his full 20 metres, kicks it long, looking for Jacobson there. Goes high, can't accept the football. Dan Hunt now wraps it up across half-back. On to Mark Thompson, kicks a wobbly gong inside 50 there. Going to no one in particular, but Howes is up to the occasion. Grabs it beautifully at his feet, runs onto the left foot and swings and misses yet again to this uh, near side uh, of the goals uh, for Springwood. Had an opportunity to really put Calandra away these last couple of minutes, but can't quite do it. And Hayden Howes is, uh, has missed that goal. 5-7-37. Leading uh, Caloundra 1 2 8. 
as the ball's brought back in again here to Nathan Spring Jack. Spring, he gets the ball, handballs forward. And under pressure, they've got three players to beat. He's under, they'll grab up and wrap him up in front of him. The umpire says, you're gone with the football. And Spring are going to go back into attack. And this time through uh, Keneally. He's had a great court, a great game. Keneally, I'm going to say, I'm still looking for some leads. He's going to go, he's got, drives it long. It's a nice kick he's looking for. Oh, it's Ron Hooper, he just uses the experience. Against Naninga, just pushed him out of the way, gave him the, uh, the advantage side, he kicked it to his advantage, and uh, Ran Hooper takes a mark about 25, 30 metres out directly in front. Great, great, uh, a great kick by Keneally to the advantage side, and, and Hooper on Naninga. I think Naninga's his, his, uh, his match-up this afternoon, uh, their best small defender on, on Springwood's uh, most decorated small forward. 58 AFL games, Ran Hooper for the Lions. Um, he's coming towards the end of his career. He'd love to put this one through for the Pumas this afternoon. He does straight through them. High diddle diddle does Ron Hooper. That's another goal for Springwood as they go further in front. Uh, great kick, Ron Hooper. Great mark. And Springwood go to 6 7 43, leading Caloundra 1 2 8. It's a 35 point ball game, and that is the fourth goal of the quarter, Jack. To Springwood, and we are 20 minutes in. And uh, again, like we've been speaking about, Caloundra just need to ha find a way to hang in. Yeah, and I think you, as you during your call, Danny, and uh, you've seen a lot of footy. The experienced players are really standing up early. Uh, now it's a warm day. You know, maybe they'll get tired a little bit later on, but certainly when the whips are cracking, they're just their composure, their ability to uh, find the right target, to make the right decision, to pull the trigger on some certain kicks has been pretty good. So, uh, and and more importantly. 13 scoring shots to three, and, uh, and that says the scoreboard. 43 plays eight. Yep. 20, uh, 21 minute mark, second term. They've just got to hang, like we, we speak about, but I think Caloundra's belief would be they, they believe they've got superior run, they, they had, and arguably they have got some runners out there. They've got to stay in the game and see if they can run over the top in the second half somehow, but at the moment, it is really all the Springwood Pumas this afternoon. As it comes forward here, uh, through the agency, Caloundra. Rowan Page, a trusty hand, through his brother, Burrito Page. Further on now, to Sponic, who's been good this afternoon. Butted up there. They they really look like they've taken a mortgage on that footy at the moment, Springwood, when they get their chain of handballs going. But uh, that boy's deemed old mate to have fallen on the footy. That's young Nick Proud. And uh, it's going to come out to Caloundra through Luca Mason. He goes wide across there to Matty Allman for Caloundra. He kicks it forward up onto the central yeah. wing here, looking there for his teammate. Any teammate with a golden uh, golden jumper. Oh. Well, running through a little bit crudely there is Jordan Coluccio uh, through to Rowan Page and here's where the umpire comes into his own. The umpire's favourite, Rowan Page. Don't they love him with that uh, nice Sean manicured nut of his uh, jack? And what? he'd be loving it out there, Pagey, the on a day like today. The brilliant Page in the centre wing here. Looking around for it, he just goes in short, looks for his teammate, but it's chopped off. Here's a chance now. Good mark there by Turner. He goes inboard, finds his teammate in the middle of the ground. And that in, that in um, Zufa. Zufa, a nice left foot kick into the forward line. It's a nice kick to advantage. He can't hold the mark. Under pressure straight away is um, Murcott jumps straight on top, and they'll try and wrap the ball up and throw it up inside their forward 50, inside Calandra's forward 50. So, uh, Hey, just held the footy up there, looking for the right option. But uh, again, Calandra, can they get their first, second one on the board for the quarter? A rucks getting together. So up they go. It's a good tap out. Again, it's Spring would get the first tap out. Shark away, grabbed over the top of the ball. I'm going to wrap it up. I can't see anyone getting the ball out of there. And he says, I'll have it as well. So there's, the experience would just try to run the clock down, going with a good lead at half time, uh, but not quite there yet. Boss throws it up. It's a good tap out there by uh, Keeler. Just doing a quick kick out of the pack there. Have we got anything? And then through for one behind. I didn't quite see you got the kick out of the pack, but we'll... I think it might have been Mason there, Jack Barry. And uh, it's another behind. One, three, nine is the Caloundra Panthers trailing. Spring of Puma, 6 7 43. It's a 36-point ball game. 23 minutes into the second quarter. Caloundra desperately need a goal before half time, just to, if nothing else, to give them a little bit of hope in this second half. As the ball comes out, it's a beautiful kick there from Mark Thompson out to Nathan Murcott. Murcott, been a stable of, uh, in the defence for Springwood all season, in the last few seasons. As it comes out here through Keneally, onto Sponic, both been very good this afternoon in the first half. Comes out here further, poor handball 
there uh, gets butted up though. Sponning uh, fixes up what, what he, uh, he first mucked up as it goes high and long. Matty Kimberley takes the footy, comes through now. Naninga trying to make up for uh, whatever uh, has happened earlier in, the, uh, earlier in the half as it comes out here to Mason on the left foot, kicks it. High, looking for anybody in a, in a goal jumper. Can't find one. Rowan Page is there to butter up. He gets round one, then two. He's wrapped up, though. Nice little handball, though, which uh, finds the mark in Mark Thompson. The experienced Mark Thompson comes out further. Jed King, the target. He overruns it now. And across the boundary line, although Watson keeps it alive and needs to keep it alive if Caloundra be a chance. It does it again. Butters up twice. Great work to, from the captain there. On to Matty Auburn. Goes in short. It's a poor kick. But with the right idea, gee, that was almost a bit crude there from the Caloundra fella. Although Keneally bounced back nicely as he got it a little bit high there, Jack, on the surface. But he, he looks like he'll be okay. And the resultant kick ends up in a behind. And uh, Caloundra, 1-4-10, trailing 6-7-43, the Springwood team. Again, looking at the scoreboard, the yellow uh, strip out there is not showing the yellow strip on the scoreboard on your live stream. It's uh, reverse to that as it gets kicked inside. Poor kick. Bit dangerous there from Josh Brown. Hasn't made too many mistakes as J.K. Kelleher. Been a bit quieter this quarter. Gets the ball go. Drives it inside 50. Looking for somebody, anybody. Thompson there again wraps up. Out to Gus Suru, and uh, it is uh, going to be another ball up here, Jack. 45 out from the Caloundra goal. Looks like J.K. Kelly will uh, do the ruck with Page, and uh, look, he's been the most threatening forward, uh, but the, uh, just haven't been able to deliver the ball to him the way he'd like. That's a good play there by um, Page. Handball's over the top to find Whiteman. Whiteman drives the ball onto the outer wing, uh, into the front spot there. It looked like that was... Uh, Pick that up, might have been uh, Bain. Bain kicks the ball forward. Here's a chance for, for Frizz. He tries to keep his feet, keeps the ball alive in front of him. Both go to the ground now, trying to tap the ball forward. Will they try and. We've got numbers are suiting um, uh, Caloundra, but they're just fighting their way. And it's been good forward pressure there by Howes as the ball spills free onto the outer wing. And the ball will go out of bounds. 43 plays, 10. 26 minute mark. Second term, QFA Heart Sport Cup, Division 1 Grand Final here at uh, I Energy Stadium, or I Energy Oval, obviously with the Brisbane Lions AFLW team also play here. Umpire throws the ball up, it's a shallow throw in, good front position now, quick kick away, goes forward, the ball will bounce over the top, but well getting in front of the defenders. Here's a chance now for Naninga, he goes in short and finds uh, the skipper in the middle of the ground. Onto the right foot's Watson, loads up forward, the pack set himself, no one can take the mark. Good butter up there by Brown, and Brown beats two opponents, makes him look silly, kicks the ball along the line. Here's a chance, there's two players, there's a good strong mark here for Keeble. Keeble goes forward, looking for the full forward, and Bain can't take the mark, falls to ground, and they'll clear the ball out. Will it get his target, rolling towards Watson if he can get it, and he takes the ball over the line, and out of bounds, Danny. But just looking at Jordan Bain behind play there, Jack, he, he went to ground. It looked like he might have done something, but he has picked himself up and he's walking away okay. So good news for the Springwood Puma team. As uh, Yeah, gee, they look slick. When they get the footy, they just look a little bit another level above, don't they, at uh, this early stage of the game. As uh, ball gets cleared there, Trent Flanders, beautiful kick. Kicks it up onto the wing. But Preston Smith in front of JK on this occasion. Zufa down to Flanders again on the right foot. Can't quite find his target as Sponnick gets in the way again. He's wrapped up nicely there by Quinny Ross. And JK ends up with the footy again. They get, uh, they got an opportunity here. Luca Mason's almost out. He drives it long to the hot spot. Looking there for his teammate in uh, Polky. Couldn't quite take the footy though. Should have probably taken it. Out to Jimmy Carroll, the boy from Wagga. Snaps across his shoulder. Jimmy Carroll, he's kicked a goal. As we've got fisticuffs in front of us here, Jack, right in front of the boundary box. I don't know where the... Uh, the vision is at the moment, but uh, a, it's on for young and old, but it's a goal in the meantime. More importantly, where the play is and the action is at uh, for the Caloundra team. Jimmy Carroll, the boy from Wagga, has kicked the second goal for Caloundra, an important goal as the, uh, the fisty, I don't know if you saw much of what's in front of us. I know uh, Ran it, Ran it, but wasn't far from the action, as was uh, Jacobson. And I reckon, I'm not sure if I saw Daniel Zerfer, but I reckon I might have. I feel the old types getting a little bit of... Uh, you know, a bit of persuasive resistance against the opposition in front of the box here for us, Jack. Yeah, no, that's right. And Sponick and um, and Quinton Ross were uh, sort of, really was just a lot of jumper pulling, but 
You're right with big uh, Jim, what was his name? Jim Carroll. Uh, he hasn't had a lot of the ball, but every time he's got it, he's looked dangerous. He's a beautiful kick of the football, and uh, no no question there. If I was just blowing the whistle, and uh, we've got a bit of a Looks uneven like a count. Blood, either a blood or a count, count rule. Oh, there might be, there's a, a uh, runner inside the forward 50, okay. a water boy, so the umpire says I'll bring it up. But that's a much needed goal for Caloundra, and, uh, and Kelly kicks a nice one. Well, just on Jimmy Carroll, of course, Carroll, related Carroll. to the famous Dennis Carroll oh. of the Sydney Swans. He's from the Riverina, the Wagga, and uh, he's been a good pick-up for Caloundra later, late part of this season. So um, a, a great find from him, and a great, much-needed goal. And Jack, it'd be fair to say that goal, uh, which now puts them down 27 points, it's, they're not they're not totally out of the game at half-time, which is a great news for them. As it comes down, Mark Thompson, he's still barging forward from the back. Through to the burrito page, goes forward inside 50. Oh, it's ended up in the arms of Howes, who kept his eyes on the footy whilst his opponent perhaps didn't. And uh, he's taken the mark no more than 30 metres out from goal on a 45-degree angle, pretty much from where I reckon he kicked uh, behind a bit earlier in the, this quarter, Hayden House. As we spoke, kick four in the second semi to put Maine to the sword. And uh, this afternoon, he's been all right this quarter, uh, absolutely. He kicks another behind, uh, though, unfortunately, on this occasion. But he is a handful. The 35-year-old Hayden House. Um, uh, most people think he looks about 21 with that yeah. surface haircut, Jack. Yeah. Um, but he is the oldest player, I'm led to believe, in the Springwood team this afternoon. It's Isaac Richardson in the, the golden... Uh, uh, kit of Caloundra kicks it out wide and it's uh, the siren rings at Hickey Park, I Energy Park this afternoon and the score reads 6 goals 8-44 Springwood leading Caloundra 2-4-16 it's a 28 point ball game in favour of Springwood Pumas they've been all over them in the first half Jack but I tell you what grand finals have been won from as much as 44 points down at half time probably with Carlton 1970 and uh, we want to go back that far, it's 50 years. But uh, in local footy, of course, they're right in the game if they can get an inspiring speech from the coach and uh, come out far in the second half. If we have a look at the, we look at the uh, goal kickers, we've got Jordan Bain has three for Springwood, then one each to Mark Thompson, Ron Hooper and Jake Keeble. And for the Calandra Panthers, Daniel Kelly kicked the first and then Jim Carroll kicked the run just there just before time on. So it's three-quarter, it's, it's half-time action has come to a close and we've got a, the score is 6-8-44. For Springwood leading Calandra 2 4 16. We'll be back after this short break. Goals. Oh, no. <laughs> Bain's got three. 